stay tuned for some halibut fishing tips, including what tidal currents are you looking for, as well as what my rig setups are. All right, guys. So today I'm at, uh, I'm inside the bay and uh, we're gonna do some halibut fishing. Came here a couple of days ago. Uh, a few friends got uh, some takedowns and uh, hopefully today we land one, we get a bite. And uh, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll settle for a shaker halibut since it's so early in the season. Uh, make sure you go to howtofish.com, sign up to the newsletter. I give halibut reports, I give crabbing reports, herring reports. So make sure you follow that, it's just your email address. And check me out on how to fish, Instagram and TikTok. All right, let's get started. Uh, let me show you guys how to rig a halibut setup. This is the, my preferred method. There's many variances to this. Uh, the first thing that I have is a sliding snell knot bait hook. So this octopus hook can go up and down on the line. And this allows you to use different bait sizes. And uh, what we'll do is got a perfect sized halibut herring here. Uh, I would say it's about five inches or so, or six inches. And I'm gonna hook it through the bottom lip. And now I'm gonna move the hook up along the line and then take the treble hook and literally just put it through the tail like that. And now you wanna give the herring a bend. So I'm gonna just pull on this line a little bit and see how it bends. That's step number one. Number two, I'm gonna add a weight. And this setup here, it's a Moo Moo outdoor setup where you got a weight that slides up and down your line. And uh, I'm gonna put a, Put a six ounce weight and see how it feels. It's not bouncing enough. You want to add some more weight to it. But right now, I think it's slack tied, so it should be okay. Alright, so the herring's rolling. The next thing you want to do is you just want to lift the line down. the bottom and then what I like to do is I just like to put the rod into the rod holder guys we're back out here hopefully getting some halibut gone twice now I've skunked twice I got a few bites but nothing really stuck so today let's hope we get the first keeper of the season so give a big thumbs up for that send me some good luck and uh, yeah we'll see you guys out there and let's do it all right so we're starting to troll now. We've got a herring with a flasher on there. And uh, hopefully we get some bites. Right now it's slack tied, so it's not moving much. And then the tide is, uh, so it's high tide and at around 2.30 it's gonna be low tide. So there's not much tide movement going on right now uh, for this whole day, I would say. So I think that's a good thing for halibut fishing. They don't like it when the current's too strong. So keep that in mind when you go out. 
They do like moving tides though. This, what's a great sign right now is I'm seeing, I'm seeing diving birds as well as uh, bait on the surface. So, always a good sign, it's fishy. Let's get that monster halibut today, huh? Is that a bite? Bit the front just a little bit. So I just kept on getting these sweet beats sticky uh, every trip. So hopefully the next one I get something. Alright guys. I'll try my luck uh, for some more halibut. Let's get a keeper. This time last time we got a just short 21 inch. Water is nice, yeah. I got a smaller size herring here with a cheese sliding rig. Basically, you just put a different octopus hook through the bottom, out through the nose like that, and then the treble hook just under the skin in the back like that. And you want to make a slight bend. That's about it. Uh, the current's gonna be a little strong today. I'm gonna go against the current. So, I'm gonna put a uh, 12 ounce weight on here. So, this weight slides up and down. Yeah, same. Oh, fish on. of the year guys. Fumbling around with the GoPro, put it in the wrong mode, uh, and when I was fumbling around with it, I had this fish on uh, and lost it. So I guess I wanted to show you guys that fish. Sometimes it's probably better to just land it first, huh? <laughs> All 
All right, so headed back in now. Um, it's a great feeling to get my first keeper of the season. We were close. Uh, last time I had a 21-incher, and then the four times before that, they were just a wash, skunked every single time. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't have my GoPro on for the second fish. Uh, I literally dropped down the herring, and uh, it was an immediate hit. And so that's why I didn't have the GoPro recording. It was unfortunate, uh, but it's all good. I'm happy to have this first keeper and uh, hopefully we'll get uh, many more. And um, also don't forget to sign up to howtofish.com, the newsletter. I'll be giving the salmon report. Salmon season opener here in San Francisco area is April 2nd. So, um, you know, we're definitely gonna try to get some early season salmon. I don't know if it's gonna be close enough. Um, be able to access them from a pedal kayak. Uh, they may be a further out on the coast, but we'll see. Stay tuned, sign up to the newsletter. Uh, you'll be the first ones to hear if there's uh, any salmon that's reachable, at least by kayak. And um, yeah, it's exciting. Follow, like, and subscribe. Give a big thumbs up.